Get ready for one of our best pub quizzes yet. We've got five rounds with five questions in each round. As always, we'll reveal the correct answers at the conclusion of each round. Let's do this! We head to space for our first category, the universe. Question 1. Name the spacecraft launched by NASA in 1977 that has traveled beyond the solar system into interstellar space. Question 2. What is the term for a region of space-time exhibiting gravitational acceleration so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape? Our third question is about our celestial neighbors. What is the name of the galaxy nearest to the Milky Way, our galaxy? Question 4. Which planet has the highest known mountain in the solar system named Olympus Mons? And finally, what is the term for the point in a planet's orbit where it is closest to the sun? We'll give you a few seconds to finish up your celestial answers. In the meantime, this reminder, stick around until the very end for our final bonus question. The subject is presidential politics. All right, now the answers to round one. The 1977 spacecraft that has traveled beyond the solar system is Voyager 1. The gravity-sucking region of space in question 2 is a black hole. Our celestial next-door neighbor is Andromeda. The answer to our fourth question. The tallest mountain in the solar system is on Mars. It's three times higher than Mount Everest. And finally, the point in a planet's orbit when it's closest to the sun is called the perihelion. We tackled the real universe in the first round. Round two asks about a couple of fictional universes. We'll show you a spaceship from either Star Wars or Star Trek, and you just have to guess which universe to which it belongs. Our first ship is the Star Destroyer. You might think of it as the equivalent of an aircraft carrier. The question is, Star Wars or Star Trek? The Borg Cube is our second fictional ship. Is this massive vessel from Star Wars or Star Trek? The much smaller TIE Fighter is our next spacecraft. TIE stands for Twin Ion Engine. Is it a Star Wars or Star Trek ship? The intimidating bird of prey is the main ship of a feared warrior species. Was it a ship in the Star Wars or Star Trek universe? And finally, we have the Imperial Shuttle, which was the preferred mode of transportation for high-ranking officers in which fictional franchise? Star Wars or Star Trek? We'll give you a few minutes to sort out your fictional spaceships. If you've already completed the assignment, We'd love it if you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss our next Out of This World pub quiz. All right, the answers for round two. The Star Destroyer struck fear into the hearts of the rebels in the Star Wars universe. Our second ship, the Borg Cube, also made many people's blood run cold. But this time in the Star Trek universe. The TIE Fighter is a combat ship in the Star Wars universe. The Bird of Prey is the main vessel of the Klingons, a warrior race in the Star Trek universe. And finally, you might find Darth Vader and other high-ranking military officers traveling the Star Wars universe in the Imperial Shuttle. We return to Earth for our next round. Back by popular demand, we have which came first. We'll give you two events in history, and you just have to tell us which one came first. Question 1. Which came first? The completion of the Sistine Chapel or the Blue Mosque? Question 2. Which came first? The opening of the first Home Depot or the opening of the first Lowe's? Question 3. Which came first? Stonehenge or the Easter Island statues? 
Question 4. Which came first, the U.S. Powerball Lottery or the Mega Millions Lottery? And finally, Question 5. Which came first, Britain's Queen Victoria or Queen Anne? While you are sorting out your history, we invite you to drop us a comment and let us know what topics you'd like us to tackle in a future pub quiz. Okay, let's find out which came first. The beautiful Blue Mosque in Istanbul was completed in the year 1617. The Sistine Chapel was finished more than 200 years earlier. In question two, do-it-yourselfers have been spending their weekends at Home Depot since 1979. But Lowe's has been around much longer. The first opened in 1921. In our third question, the first of those Easter Island statues were carved around the year 1250. But Stonehenge dates all the way back to around 3100 BC. In question four, the Powerball started several years before Mega Millions. And finally, Queen Victoria's reign began 130 years after Queen Anne's. We will not pass go or collect $200 heading into round four. That's because we're playing Monopoly! <laughs> Question one. Which city served as the inspiration for the original Monopoly game board layout? Question two. What is the name of the character featured on the Monopoly board's go-to-jail space? Question 3. Which Monopoly token was retired in 2017 and replaced with the T-Rex? Question 4. What's the full name of Mr. Monopoly, the mascot character for Monopoly? And our final question. Name the 1904 board game that became the inspiration for Monopoly. While you finalize your Monopoly answers, we'd sure appreciate it if you would give our little pub quiz a thumbs up. Okay, the Monopoly answers now. The inspiration for Monopoly was Atlantic City, New Jersey. The answer to question two. The character featured on the go-to-jail space is Officer Edgar Mallory. In the third question, the T-Rex took the place of the thimble token, which was retired in 2017. The answer to question four. The full name of Mr. Monopoly is Rich Uncle Pennybags. And finally, the 1904 board game that inspired Monopoly was called The Landlord's Game. We have a sweet final category before our final bonus question. It's 1980s candies. Question one. What tiny, tangy, crunchy candy was named Candy of the Year by the National Candy Wholesalers Association in 1985? Question two. What bubblegum was introduced in 1988 with the tagline, It's six feet of bubblegum. For you, not them. Question three. What candy, which was invented as an alternative to thumb sucking, became a fashion trend during the 1980s? Question 4. What controversial bubblegum introduced in 1980 was invented by a baseball player as an alternative to chewing tobacco? And finally, question 5. Which jelly bean brand gained major popularity in the 1980s because it was a favorite of President Ronald Reagan? While you finish your answers, and before that sugar rush kicks in, we'd love it if you'd turn on notifications so you'll never miss one of our fun trivia videos. Okay, the answers to round five. The tiny, tangy candy of the year in 1985 was nerds. In question two, the six feet of bubble gum was hubba bubba bubble tape. Question three, the 1980s fashion trend was ring pops. The controversial gum from question four was Big League Chew. And finally, President Reagan liked these jelly beans so much, he gave them as White House gifts. They are Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Don't go anywhere because our final bonus question starts right now. 
The losing major party presidential candidates in 1812 and 2016 shared which last name? DeWitt Clinton lost to James Madison in 1812, and Hillary Clinton was defeated by Donald Trump in 2016. So the answer is Clinton. Great job. Be sure to share your score in the comments. And check out one of these other fun trivia videos.